It's a world away from the All Blacks or the hallowed turf of Twickenham. But there was no shortage of pride as one of Turkey's smallest sports made its debut in the country's biggest city. And they're always ready to welcome new players. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to begin. <laughs> this side is in the process of a rebirth. Two years of political tension saw the team sanctioned by Rugby Europe and demoted to the development division. But the coach, Cherokee Sylvian, saw this as an opportunity. The former Cameroon international decided to ditch the imports and only pick players from Turkey. You are going to use this? To, to build rugby in Turkey. We have to grow. So it's, it's a good occasion to use uh, young and Turkish guy in Turkey, try to develop domestic competition, women competition, young competition. And Sylvian's policies seem to be working with a 13 to eight win over Montenegro. And while they still have plenty to work on in developing their basic skills, the passion of these amateur players can never be called into question. There was a high school league and the high school of my mate uh, was involved in that league as well and he invited me to take part and that's it. Uh, that was the start. I couldn't lift it. We've been playing this game before there was a national team in Turkey. Uh, I played myself on the first team uh, uh, that was created uh, in Tur Istanbul Ottomans uh, since 99 and it's just for having fun uh, we try to develop rugby uh, on our own. The development will be tested again this weekend when they travel to Bulgaria to take on their national side, another step on their long road to development. It's positive. But um, like I tell you, we need to understand the value of rugby because now some people come from football or some another sport, then maybe they don't understand the real value of rugby because it's not the same, you know. It's positive because like I tell you, there is a lot of potential.